Do not touch any of the files in here. Will you smack me if I do? Lewis, this is not a joke. You're not even supposed to be in here. Sheila. You gotta be kidding me. Harvey Specter. <laughs> what a douche. Mike Ross. R-O, 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 R-O. Richardson. James Ross. So Matthew Ross. What the hell? Mike Ross. He's not here. Monday, 2.20 p.m. This conundrum is burning a hole in my brain. Think. Logically. I mean, Sheila is professional and meticulous and wonderfully anal. And if she says that nothing gets misplaced in her inner sanctum, then I believe her, which leaves the national security option. Is Mike Ross CIA? Please, there's a better chance that Esther's in the KGB. I mean, I can ask Sheila if I'm no longer fond of my testicles, which, wait a second, missing testicles, missing file. It can't be missing if it doesn't exist. Holy shit. What if Mike Ross never went to Harvard at all? What if he just went to some crabby third tier law school like Fordham or Arizona State? Yeah, hey bro. Yeah, no, I'll see you at the party. I'm not gonna study for the bar. Damn straight, that's right, bros before hoes. Oh yeah, you know. All right, that's enough. He's been peeing directly into our pristine pool of eliteness. He's been... Oh, shoot, it's blinking out. Norma, really quickly, I need you to get a pack of rechargeable triplet... Shit, it's out. So I guess I'm just talking to myself. How exactly did Harvey find him? We didn't find him. He found us. What are you talking about? Mike hadn't signed up for the interview on time, so he pretended to be one of the other associates on the list. He talked his way past me and impressed the shit out of Harvey, whose main requirement was somebody who had the balls to do something like that in the first place. Okay. What if he had the balls to do something a lot bigger than that? What are you talking about? I think Mike Ross went to a subpar law school and has been lying about it the whole time. Lewis, listen to yourself. You're talking about Mike. You're insane. Um... Okay, I was in the Harvard fire room with Sheila. Don't ask details. And I noticed Mike Ross's file was not there. You specifically looked for his file? Yes, and I looked for Harvey's too, and his was there. And by the way, he looked like a major douche. So you looked at a grand total of two files out of tens of thousands, and this is the conclusion you jumped to? What is wrong with you? You don't know Sheila. She's like a surgeon, and the files are her patients. She doesn't make mistakes. You told her about this? Hell no. She told me not to touch any of those files. And she'd kill me if she found out that I did. I just asked her about it generally. Well, of course she's going to say she never loses one, but I can tell you from personal experience, anything can happen to a file. I don't know. Well, I do. I know Mike, and I know he's for real, but if you still doubt it, there's an easy answer. Just call up Harvard and ask for a copy of his transcript. And what if it's not there? Then I will apologize for calling you insane and personally help you escort Mike Ross out of the building. Goodbye. Hey, do you have a minute? I'm a little busy right now. We have a problem. Scotty's not going to be a problem. I thought it through. Lewis might be on to Mike. He found out that Mike doesn't have a file in the Harvard file room and that he wasn't on your original interview list. What did you tell him? Well, I handled the list. What about the other? What could I tell him? I mean, I told him if he was so curious, he could order a copy of Mike's transcript. Then we don't have a problem. Well, 
Don't you think maybe we should do something else? Anything else is just gonna make him more suspicious. Are you sure? Yeah, I'm sure. Okay. Oh, wait a second. Where did you say Lewis was again? Oh, he was in the Harvard file room. How was he in the Harvard file room? He has a relationship with Sheila's ass. What? Never should have doubted it. You know, it's just hard to imagine a world in which Sheila made a mistake, though. Well, it's just good you can put this to bed once and for all. Yeah, see, that's the thing. If Sheila's competence is that important to her, I need to tell her about this so she could fix it. You know what, Lewis? It occurred to me after we talked that I'm the only one who has the list of associates that interviewed with Harvey that day. That can't be right, because I got a copy off the general server. You got a copy by bullying Benjamin into accessing my private files off my hard drive. That doesn't sound like me. Lewis. Okay, I did it, but that was only because I was concerned. So your concern gives you the right to invade my privacy? What? No, it's just a file. How dare you? You pretend to be this gallant man. You make a big show of how you would never cross into my area without my permission. I am gallant, and I would never dare. You wouldn't dare, because you'd have to do it to my face. But you have no problem breaking my trust behind my back. And that not only pisses me off, but it makes me question whether I want to have a relationship with you at all. I'm so sorry, Donna. No, Louis, you know what? No, 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 Donna, I'm sorry. No, I can't, I can't. No, 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 please, I can't Donna, even, no, 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 I'm sorry, shh, I'm sorry. Don't speak. I cannot even look at you right now. And I don't even know why I'm gonna tell you this, but if you pissed me off that much, what do you think Sheila's gonna do when you tell her you violated her trust? Huh? You're right. Thank you, Donna, for putting your anger on hold long enough to help me salvage the single most important non-feline relationship of my life. Someone's been a bad boy. Sheila. You thought I wouldn't find out? I hoped you wouldn't. He wanted a pair of my underwear. You should have just asked. Oh, Matt, Sheila, God, what are you doing here? Aren't you happy I'm here? Of course, absolutely. You don't seem happy. I'm overjoyed. I'm just, you know, I'm just surprised. But you're all nervous and sweaty. Come on, you know my sweat ducks get excited when they see you. Good, because your sweat ducks are going to be working overtime. What? The Chilton, room 305. Tonight. <laughs> ah, here you are. Been looking all over for you. Why? I just wanted to apologize once again for crossing the threshold of your electronic area. It's okay, Lewis. No, no. I breached your mainframe. No excuse. Why is your face so red? It's because you gave me the greatest advice in the world. What are you talking about? Let's just say that I'm never going to tell Sheila what I did in that file room that night, ever. <laughs> Apology accepted. Now, if you'll excuse me, I need to put some peas on my face. Well, let's see what you got, Michael James Ross. Magna cum laude. <laughs> so Mr. Smarty Pants couldn't even manage summa cum laude? So what if I couldn't either? What? No law review? Well, either you weren't asked or you didn't serve. Either way, I win. A. A. B plus in international law. Oh, come on. I aced that class with my eyes closed. A in contracts. That's legit. A minus in estate planning. Remind me to not die intestate with my cross around. You want to see me? Professor Gerard's legal ethics class. You take it? Of course. Everyone has to take it. What'd you get? Killed it. You got an A minus. Out of curiosity, did you ever hear of anybody ever getting an A plus? What? No. He's famous for never giving higher than an A. He doesn't believe in it. Thank you, Simon. That'll be all. <laughs>